what's up everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl savvy say so about a month ago i groomed one of my fiddly figs her name is fiona and i wanted to give you an update on how she's doing so it was exactly a month ago and she has given me two branches three branches and she is determined to grow straight up so she has given me another branch i keep seeing this hummingbird <laughs> the hummingbirds keep coming so she is determined to just grow straight My little hummingbird friend. You hear that? So I wanted to give you an update and just let you see how things are looking with her. So this is Fiona. This is where I pruned her one month ago and she gave me one new branch, two new branches, and now she's trying to grow straight up again. And she's already given me plenty of new leaves. So that one has a new leaf with another one about to come out. She's giving me two new leaves here and she's giving me three leaves here at the top. So Fiona is one of three plants. I purchased them at Lowe's. They were all in a pot together and I brought them home and I separated them. We kept two out of the three. I gave one away to a friend and we named them Frank, Fiona, and Figgy. This is Fiona. Frank is upstairs in my daughter's playroom. When I separated them, I put them in what I thought was gonna be a temporary pot. I think I got the pot the same day that I purchased them with the intentions that I was gonna separate them. So I just got the first available pot and I figured I'll get something else further down the line and that never happened. Fiona ended up staying in this pot for two years and I wanna change her to this white pot. So I'm gonna end up putting her in this pot today. This is a 12 inch pot and it has this tray that um, comes apart as well. I'm gonna be removing that so that she has good drainage. I did check Fiona's roots and she's not root bound at all. That's a good thing to keep in mind is just because they are this tall, she was over eight feet tall before I pruned her. So you don't really wanna go to a much bigger pot because then it's just gonna have watering issues and you just don't want that. You can see the size difference. It's fairly similar, not going up much at all, but I'm just gonna change the pot because I wanna have a white pot instead of this pot. And I'm gonna show you how I do that. The thing I'm gonna do is just remove this saucer. Put that to the side because I don't need that at the moment. Then what I like to do is add a piece of screen. I'm gonna have to get another piece because this isn't gonna be enough. But I like to add this right over the drainage hole so that when I'm watering, a lot of the soil is not gonna be seeping out because the holes are pretty big. And as you're watering, all the soil is just gonna start to come out. And I don't like that. I don't like when my trays are just always dirty, like the saucers that catch the water. I don't like for them to just to be always dirty. So I found that adding a piece of screen like this over the hole just helps for watering purposes. So I always do that when I'm gonna be planting a new pot. Just put a little piece of screen over the hole. So this is how I look once I put the screen in. You can see how big those holes are. And if I didn't put that there, it would probably leak a lot of soil so since these drainage holes are pretty large I'm okay with that amount but I could go through here with a drill and just put some additional holes I usually do but I'm not gonna do that today because I think these are just gonna be fine so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting my soil added to here the soil mix that I have made on my own but this is just a mixture of peat moss cocoa core some perlite and a couple of added amendments for nutrients I get some added to the bottom and then I'm gonna get Fiona out and I'm gonna put her in here and see how much more I need to add. You see her roots are not that bad. Let me see. We got a long one right there. I think I'm gonna take just a little bit out. She's sitting right at level, but I'm gonna take just a little bit out. I like how that's looking, so I'm just gonna have to backfill it just a little bit. So she's fitting in nicely. You can just see here on the side, I'm gonna have to backfill it a little bit, but this is looking like a good size pot for her. 
she's gonna be happy in her new home. We'll go ahead and get this bag filled and then while I have her out here, I'll water it in real good and um, spray her down with her leaves. And I'll show you guys the filter that I use as well. I'm just gonna use this cup to back fill it. Just really trying to get things packed in around the sides. You want to keep about an inch from the top so that when you are watering, it's not going to overflow and the soil is not going to seep out. So I think this is looking pretty good. You might give her one more cup. So I've got Fiona put up in her new home and she'll probably stay in this pot. This will probably be her home for the next couple of years because like I said, she was in this pot, which is like 10 inches for two years and she's still not, she wasn't root bound at all. And that's because she was in a bigger pot. She was in a pot with, th with two other plants. So it was three of them in one pot. And I ended up coming home, separating the root ball then. When I separated the root ball then, it was fairly root bound because it was three plants in one. And some of the roots were broken. I tried to separate them gentle way I possibly could, but a lot of the roots still were broken because they were just so tangled up together that I had no other way to separate them but to cut some of those roots. They were just getting established with their new root system. So she's not root bound at all. She didn't even have many roots for me to like break apart. So she went right into this new home, no problem and she'll probably stay in this home for a few years. Don't get caught up in the height. Just because she's tall doesn't mean that she needs a new pot. They like to be fairly root bound and this is just from my own personal experience. I'm not an expert. I'm just going off a of trial and error and from my own experience with plants. I do things, I make mistakes and I learn from them and that's what I have done and it's been working for me. I have pretty much gotten down the requirement to take care of a fiddle leaf fig and I've been doing that. And I know that they don't want a huge pot right away. If you bring them home from the nursery and they're in those black nursery pots, keep them in there for a while for one they need to get acclimated to your home and for two check the roots if they're not root bound don't just assume that they need to go to a bigger pot right away if you don't like the color of the pot put it in a cover-up pot i have this basket over here that can be used as a cover pot don't always be so quick to change the pot that's just one of my tips that I have for you guys is I'm not an expert but I have learned that they like to be fairly root bound and like I said she was over eight feet tall she was nine ten feet tall and she was in this pot for two years still wasn't root bound only reason why I'm changing the pot today is because I never intended for her to stay in this purple pot it just happened life happens and so she ended up staying in this home for two years but now she's gonna be in this home while we're out here, I'm gonna go ahead and give her a bath. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my hose turned on and I'm gonna bring that over here and I'm gonna show you the filter that I use for all of my house plants. This is what I water my garden with as well. And it make your plants dance. That's what he says on his website. This is how you make your plants dance is by using this filter and not giving them chlorine in their water. When it rains, the rain, natural rainwater doesn't have chlorine. Rainwater makes them happy. They're not intended to get chlorine in their water. Just another tip I have for you. Take it how you like it, use it or not, that's up to you. This is just, I'm just showing you how I care for my garden and for my plant and I have had success. This beautiful plant is the result of me using a filter, caring for her leaves, feeding her plant food, not overwatering her and this is the result. I just pruned her a month ago and she's already given me new growth, several leaves, new branches, new growth. The proof is in the pudding, it works. So without further ado, let me stop talking and I'm gonna go over here and get the hose and I'm gonna bring it over here so we can get her washed up and watered in. So I'm gonna go ahead and get Fiona moved out here into the lawn, into the yard so that I can spray off there. Don't really want all the soil and everything to get right here on my patio. She looks so pretty in her new home. Hey Fiona, hey girl, hey pretty girl. All right, this is my water filter, you guys. I use the Boogie Blue Plus. This is from the Boogie Brew Company. I'm gonna link the link down in the description box below. I have gone through several of these, been using them for years. Personal choice here. You can use it or you cannot, all right? Take everything I say with a grain of salt, you guys. Do your own research. But I use this in my garden and I definitely use it on my house plants. So I'm getting her watered in. Let some of this soil go ahead and settle. And then if I need to add a little bit more, then I'm gonna add a little bit more.
She's gonna be happy in this new home. She probably staying here for three, four more years. I don't know, we'll see. Keep an eye on her roots. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get her leaves washed up. I'm gonna let this settle in and I'm gonna give her a bath. Time to give Fiona a bath. So I'm just going to go ahead and slightly clean off some of her leaves with this microfiber cloth. That's it for today's video. Thanks for joining me and helping me repot Fiona into a new home. Look at Fiona over there. Hey, Fiona. Ooh. She's cute. Look at her. Okay. I wiped all Fiona's leaves off. She's nice and clean. And I'm about to take her back into the house and get her back into her home. And that is it. So hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you got inspired. Hopefully you learned something. Please give this video a big like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notification bells. Now I'm seeing in my analytics that a lot of people are watching, but they're not subscribed. Don't be petty like that. Look out for your girl and Fiona and subscribe okay so see you next time